Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Bros here to talk about the new exotic linear fusion rifle, Arbalist. I think that's how you say it. Um, but it came with the new Revelry event, and it's been out for about a week now. Now, I'm making this review a week late, even though I got it like the first or second day, uh, because as you all know, I'm not really a fan of the Revelry and the grenade spam. So it took me a little while to want to go into the Crucible and to test this weapon out, even though I got it. But I gotta say, it is an incredible weapon. It's what an exotic should feel like, in my opinion. So, I think exotics should be stronger than legendaries, but only slightly. I think they should have crazy sounds, crazy appearance, be really fun to use and really good, but not game-breaking. And I feel like this checks all the boxes. Now, the coolest thing about this weapon is that it is the one and the only linear fusion rifle in the game that is not in the heavy slot so the arbalist intrinsic perk or exotic perk is compounding force uh, it causes the arbalist to fire physical slugs instead of energy bolts the slugs deal high damage to enemy ships now the reason that this perk is really good is because it is also paired with the disruption break perk which I think came into the game with the EP weapons like the EP SMG where if you crack the shield or if you pop the enemy's overshield and bring them down to their health they take more kinetic damage now this weapon is kinetic so once you pop that enemy shield your weapon does more damage not only that they take more kinetic damage from all sources if i'm not mistaken you guys can fact check me on that but i'm pretty sure as long as i played with it i played for it for a few hours every time i pop or body shot a enemy super the disruption Sounds amazing. break perk activated and my teammates would absolutely melt them with Taking team it. shots like way more than usual so it's a really good gun to uh, help bring supers down which is definitely welcomed in this game nasty, because i think though. supers are way too strong uh way too tanky lasting way too long so anything that kills supers is a-okay in my book um, but Back into the weapon, man. I love the way this gun looks. I love the sight. I love the zoom. Just phenomenal. I mean, it's one of the sexiest weapons I think they've ever made. I love the color that they chose. I mean, I, this weapon is incredible. And I'm a sniper main, so of course I'm going to love it because it's basically, you know, linear fusions are basically snipers with a little charge time. Now... I do want to talk about how it handles flinch. It does not handle flinch the best, but I think if you can get like an uh, unflinching chest piece for linear fusion or enhanced unflinching from like the raid, it may make a huge difference. Also, the handling on this is not the greatest. Um, it does not, you know, when you switch to it, it doesn't draw the fastest. When you aim in, it's not the fastest like a snapshot sniper. Um, but I did run some uh, enhanced dexterity linear fusion and it made a difference as well as the unflinching uh for linear fusions so you definitely want to build your gear around this run the scavenger the unflinching the dexterity if you have it and also the targeting the linear fusion targeting because i do want to say one thing they did with this weapon to make it balanced is it does not have the aim assist of the heavy weapon uh, linear fusions those are a lot more sticky than this weapon this weapon is not uh extremely sticky or as sticky as i thought it would have been which is cool for me because not everyone can just run around with it and get headshots left and right um i definitely miss shots here and there i missed uh you know a fair amount of shots here and there because it wasn't as sticky as i imagined um and the hitbox isn't too crazy like sometimes i'm on the head far away and i get the body shot so definitely not the most aim assist uh, or the most range on this weapon which increases effective aim assist so i think they did a good job at you know keeping the aim assist and the range sort of down to keep this weapon balanced because otherwise uh, this weapon could have been extremely crazy if you know if they wanted to give it like some queen breakers bow aim assist and range things might have been a little bit broken we might have had like a telesto slash waste put on our hands and things would have been really annoying in pvp but I, this this weapon is definitely done extremely well it's literally to me what an exotic should be and i think they should look at this exotic in the future when they make new exotics um and use it as a example on how to make a cool balanced fun but still strong exotic 
Uh, anyway, guys, I, you know, I just wanted you all to uh, know my opinion on this exotic as as a sniper main. I'm loving it. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying it. Very easy to get, which I'm sure you guys already have. Uh, but, you know, knock out the triumphs, the revelry triumphs to get this weapon. Seven out of the eleven, I think it is, to get this weapon fairly easy. Just run strikes, crucible, uh, and do the, the forest event that they brought. Um, but that's it guys man i hope you all enjoyed the plays i definitely hit some nasty snipes or what i think are some nasty snipes i was sort of impressed with some of my plays so i hope you guys enjoy them i actually got a few collaterals with this weapon already uh so feels good man anyway i'm talking too much enjoy the rest of the gameplay guys i love you all drop a like if you enjoyed Yeah, Thor grenade at that. <laughs> Zone C captured. You have advantage. Get out of my way! Arc Shard and B, I need help. They're taking. You're in the lead. This is wonderful. Not anymore. Too busy taking an L to take damage. Oh! There. Dumas. He's got a collateral. Get montage, bitch. This is amazing. Keep this up, and the battle is yours. Ten seconds. 